Hello, and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Crisser. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about sample flipping and how you can basically take any sample that you want and turn it into a synthesizer. And that way you can write whatever you want using any sample as a root source. There are two main reasons you might want to be doing this. Reason number one is if you are working with some kind of creative limitations, you're either doing like a sample pack challenge, uh, like we are on the channel this month. Uh, more info about that will be linked somewhere or you're doing like a remix and you only have access to like certain samples and you want to only use samples from that song. So if you're working, if you're like either it's self-imposed or some kind of limitation where you're like, want to only be working with samples and you want to do that kind of workflow, this is really, really handy. The other situation is if you are limited in terms of which version of live you're using. If you're using either the intro version or the standard version, you don't have access to all of the really cool synthesizers um, or if you don't own any third-party plugins, you're limited in terms of what you can do and synthesizing things. So if you want to synthesize anything using basically just using the simpler instrument, this is how we're going to do it. So before we dive too deep into it, I do want to let you know, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I release videos every Monday and Thursday, as well as streaming on Tuesdays and Fridays. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So as I mentioned, we are doing a sample pack song challenge here on the channel for this month, uh, and I will link that info below. But I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of the samples that uh, is part of that uh, which is what kind of inspired this video. So I'm going to grab this guy. Here's like a little melody thing. Nothing like too revolutionary here. It's like that's a cool sound. The rhythm's a little boring, but like we could take this and we could like put a bunch of effects on it, or we could use this to synthesize something. So all I'm going to be doing is grabbing a simpler, tossing it on a MIDI track, taking this sample or taking this clip, tossing it here where it says drop sample here. So now when I play MIDI note, it's going to play it and it'll pitch it up or down depending on what note I play. But I'm not looking to play the whole thing. I just want to play like a little tiny fraction of one and basically turn this into a synthesizer or like an oscillator for a synthesizer. So what I'm going to do is first turn loop on and I'm going to make my loop brace very, very short. So now as I play it, it's just looping that one little bit and we're going to get even smaller in here and I'm going to start changing this. And once, it, once I get to a certain point, it just loops so fast, you, your brain starts to interpret it like it is just an oscillator on a synthesizer. Now I can play it like a synth. However, the one really important thing we need to do here is we need to tune this to make sure the note that this is playing matches the MIDI note that I'm playing. And you'll notice that the pitch changes as I change the length. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab the tuner audio effect. We're going to toss it on this track. And that way, when I play a note, we can actually see whatever note is happening here. And again, if I change this, it changes the pitch. So I could try to move this around to try to match the pitch just by adjusting the length here. But the easier way to do that is go over to the controls page, go to the transposition. And then while you're holding down a note, pitch it up or down so it matches the MIDI note you're playing. So I'm playing a C note right now and we're getting a G. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, down arrow a few times to match this to a C. Right about there. And you can see we're still a little bit off of that C. So I'm going to take the D tune, which is going to be in sense, and move that up a little bit. There we go. So now when I play C, I'm getting C. There's all C notes. Now it matches what I'm doing. So I now have a synthesizer that is built off of whatever sample you grab. And depending on what kind of sample you grab and the waveform that it has, it's going to sound totally different and basically get you different kinds of oscillators. Um, other than that, you have all of your other basic simpler controls built in here. So we have like filters, if I want to start filtering things. Or like we have our LFO, we have our volume envelope, we got a pitch envelope, um, all their basic kind of synth stuff. And then I can start stacking on effects on top of it. So that's kind of the technique here. This is one of many different techniques for taking a sample and kind of flipping it and turning it into something different. And I think it's really useful just because if you're kind of limited on resources in terms of what kind of gear and tools you have access to, this works all the time. And it can sound pretty good pretty easily. So uh, I'm going to make more videos on different techniques for sample flipping in the future. So again, feel free to subscribe if you want to check those out later. Um, also, if you want to try out our sample pack challenge for this month, um, I will put all of that link and info below. So. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.